Welcome back to Tech Dudes Weekly. I'm Brian. Dave. And uh, we're here to uh, kind of talk about just some uh, different stories that we've seen come out recently in the news. And, you know, hopefully we'll get some uh, folks to chime in on comments and, you know, see what they think after we uh, kind of go a few, th- few things here. Nothing, but, uh, you know, I-, I was thinking about it the other day. So I have a um, ring camera, you know, pointing out in my front yard, you know, looking down the driveway. I have one in the backyard to see what the dogs are doing during the day. Nothing, but uh, let me ask you this, Dave. You got any uh, cameras inside the house? Uh, no. Nope. Don't allow them. Yeah, it's funny. I don't. I don't either. Nothing, and I'm not an NSA conspiracy theorist. I don't think the CIA really cares what I'm doing, and if they do, they you know they can go look at my Netflix queue. It's probably about as exciting. Nothing, but um, you know, every now and then I'll see an article, and I, I saw this one in Consumer Reports. I want to bring. I want to read something to you, Dave. Nothing. So it says uh, back in uh, let's see, Bitdefender found that the wise cameras. Thing, which are a common cheap camera you can buy off of Amazon or whatever. That's a little just, square. Yeah, little things. square IP cameras. Yeah, you know, nothing exciting. You can kind of like nanny cam type things. Yeah. Yep. Nothing, or you can look at your cat all day long. You know, whatever. You know, floats your boat. Nothing, but um, yeah. So they're inexpensive. You know, a lot of people have bought them over the years. But Bitdefender apparently said back in March of 2019, nothing. Um, they alerted Wise saying that there were some vulnerabilities in the camera. And apparently those vulnerabilities, they did get patched. Don't get me wrong. Wise went out. They patched them oh, three years later. Sure. January Two, of 2022. Wait a minute. Three, three years later? Yeah. You heard me right. Three years. And uh, just to give you a scope here. So it says the, this is from Consumer Reports. So credit to them. Uh, the first vulnerability allows hackers to bypass the account login process and allow people to access the cameras. Oh, that's perfect. The second one allows hackers to run their own software on the camera. Oh, it's and on the, their own the website. Third, oh, yeah, whatever. Do anything with it. And the third one, you know, capture passwords. It's on the same Wi-Fi network. Why not? <laughs> Nothing. Um, the third one allows hackers to actually grab the saved footage off the SD card. Nothing. So, oh. can you imagine minor. a long hacker getting into the wrong camera and all they have is a bunch of old ladies shuffling around? <laughs> Well, like I said, it'd be a relatively boring view of my house, and you know, there's my dog sleeping again. Nothing, but <laughs> no, you you've got you've got mutual Omaha Law Kingdom in your house. Yeah, uh, you know, and I, I don't think I, you know, this is, I don't have cameras in my house, but you know, you wouldn't want to see me running across my hardwood floor. It's a risky business doing the underwear. Nothing, but you know, it's uh, still there's a reason I don't have cameras inside the house because again, it's nothing exciting to go look at. Nothing by any means, but I don't know. To me, if you had them. You know, your baby cam, to watch the infant sleeping. You wanted to stare at your dog during the day because you just couldn't part from them. This is creepy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you asked me the question. I remember when my daughter was born, we had a nanny cam, but it was a fairly closed loop system. Right. It was our, yeah, it was our, it was radio frequency, um, but there was no recording. It was live video turned off or on. It was pointing at her the entire time. Yeah. A lot of these new security companies out there offer in-house cameras. I just, but, you know, think about it. I, I'm, I'm wrong again. We've got a few Alexa devices that have a camera on them. Yeah, I don't think I have any. You have, like, the, the screens. Yeah, so we've got a, a spot. I think it's called a spot. And then we've got um, a Facebook portal Alexa. But I have the camera. Oh, yeah. I thought I had the camera turned off. But now you got me thinking that that doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, I'm still the guy who puts a piece of, uh, you know, scotch tape or something over the camera just because I'm paranoid it'll be on anyway. Like, but yeah, that's that's some kind of sort of funny. I, now you've got me thinking. I, I do, I do actually have cameras in my that that this no, because for for <laughs> as Dave ends this video and runs off. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll be I'll be right back. No, I mean, for my external security, we have Arlo, and I'm switching those out because I've switched out the entire network in the house to um, Ubiquity Unify, whatever you want to call it at that point. And I'm putting, um, I'm not putting 4K cameras out yet. I'm doing 1440Ps. But yeah, I just got to thinking, and and that was ties back to an article I I saw yesterday that Amazon slash Alexa is the only, it has the, how, how was it they worded it? Referenced the amount of data gathered from those devices. Alexa and Amazon are the highest out. No, I wasn't talking to you. See, she's heard me. No, turn off. You just ordered 14 rolls of toilet paper, but go ahead. <laughs> I can't say the A word. Um, 
Oh gosh, uh, select number. No, I don't want to select number. This is going bad. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've got a my A attached to a big screen TV in my office, and I, I think I'm getting ready to order something. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> This if you weren't good. wearing headphones, I would scream something out right now. Just <laughs> <laughs> but it just goes to show you how much data is being gathered, whether it's by cameras, whether it's by, you know, the A devices, the G devices or whatever. But yeah, I've got to rethink now. If you ask me that question, yeah, I've got cameras in the house and I got to figure out, do I still want them there or not? Again, well, that's funny. Conspiracy. You even anything. Like I said, I have ring cameras on the outside of my house. And you know, ring has a, uh, you can laugh at this, but they have a drone for the inside of the house that'll actually come out of the stand and fly around the house on a pattern or whatever. <laughs> well, I can, granted, I can see my cat taking that right straight out of the air, but well, you know. It's funny you should say that. The last thing that drone would see is a 90 pound German shepherd in going through <laughs> midair, going after it. <laughs> yeah, it all of a sudden became a colonoscopy cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, okay, so they got the drone. Have you seen the robot with the periscope? Yes, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. That's a, is that an Amazon one? That's an it Amazon. Is. It's a grand. Yeah. Yeah. No, thanks. So, uh, but he, here's the thing. Why did it take them three years to patch? And it's not like they're, they're minor things. I mean, bypass the main login. Yeah, I think it was a, it's grabbing down and then executing malicious code. I think it was a port 80. I mean, a straight wide open web portal, a port straight port 80, you could get into it. Well, in Wise's defense, they did put out a public statement saying that all the vulnerabilities would would require hackers to be on your Wi-Fi network, because we all know that Wi-Fi is completely secure, oh. and nobody has the admin with links as password, you know, to no. the default router. Or uses no, everybody, something everybody like... Everybody changes those, right? Or uses something like a password like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Fido. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, their, or their social or, you know, their, their kid's birth date or, or crap like that. Yep. Um, I was looking at yeah. Wi-Fi around me. There, you'd be surprised at what people put for some of their Wi-Fi names. Oh, sure. Well, one... I mean, that's why there's so much social engineering out there. You look at Facebook and it says, name your your first car. I wonder why they're asking for that. Yeah. There's one Wi-Fi <laughs> um, SSID near me. Go, if you're here, who's watching hell? <laughs> yep. And I'm like, well, I, I got to kick out of it because by my mother, actually, of all people, she was on Facebook the other day, which is dangerous. That's a whole different conversation, and we don't have enough storage capacity to record that. <laughs> no, but uh, she she goes, yeah, they have all these new questionnaires where you can talk about, you know, what was your first car? And I was so nostalgic. And blah. It's like, Mom, you know those are the same types of questions they ask you to reset your bank password? Yeah. And there's just a hush comes over the crowd. And when she actually thought about it for a second, it's like, why do you think those are being asked? Yeah. Yeah, where'd you go to high school? Your mom's maiden name. I mean, well, come on. <laughs> like, but oh yeah, or you, you know, get we did, or you but, get the phone calls where they go. We've got a, in a very uh, either robotic voice or a very bad, um, yeah, non-American voice. This is the FBI. We have a warrant out for your arrest. If you pay four hundred dollars <laughs> uh, within twenty-four hours, we will not come get you. Right. Yes. Yes. Because the FBI always needs their gift cards. Damn. Yes. Them. Exactly. Um, so they're running out of bullets. We haven't veered off course here completely. We did tell you originally we we're talking about wise cameras and their uh, three-year, you know, timely exposure. But uh, yeah, it, it's just funny. You know, I, this just caught the corner of my eye and looking at the news feeds the other day. And uh, I mean, you know, I am glad to say that I don't think I have cameras inside the house. Although, like you said, I might want to do stock. Thing, just like yeah. you did a few seconds ago, but uh, I thought yeah, I that, that that's bad. I mean, those cameras are cheap. There's a lot of them out there. And, yeah, uh, it makes me yeah. wonder. Um, do they make the remember the ones that are the Blink cameras? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm wondering those, yeah. because they look identical to the Blinks. It could be the same software for all we know. I mean, who knows what's being written under the hood there? Wow. Thing, but you know, you you. It's funny, and I would love to see people comment about this. Nothing, just you know, the comments or our Twitter feed or something like that. Nothing is, what do you think's worse, the actual issue, or the fact that they didn't own up to the issue? Um, I think to me, it's worse. They didn't own up to it. They waited three yeah. years, and they had an external third party company find it for them, and they still go, "Yeah, it's okay." Yeah. Yep. Who uses that? I mean, they got to get on your Wi-Fi network to begin with. So it's not like we give out our Wi-Fi passwords and uh, and SSIDs to all our, our kids' friends. Right. Yeah. And like I said, Wi-Fi is totally secure. Yeah. 
Yeah. No. You know, if somebody told me once and I, uh, when I was working, I asked him, I was like, so how do you secure your network? He said, it's real simple. Turn it off. Yeah. And plug it. And there, that's how you secure a network. Like, so there is no secure network. And if you're uh, just like, if you don't want to be, uh, have your stuff on the internet and then, you know, you pay in cash and you make your own quilts and turn your own butter. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, we're probably steering off topic here. Like, so oh, no, I, we're I way off to- topic. <laughs> Like always, like, but I would love to see people jump in there. You know, if you've run into anything or you've seen, you know, something similar to this online, you know, talking about, you know, the security vulnerabilities. But you know, I would really love to hear what do you think it was worse, you know, like the the actual problem or the uh, lack of ownership. Like, so. Yep. Leave us a comment down below. Um, give us a like on this, even a dislike, whichever uh, you think on it. Uh, either one of them, um, and then you know, subscribe, please. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more videos we can do. Um, and like I said, throw out some topics. What do you want to see next? Hopefully, we're going to be doing some um, product um, demos here soon. And um, as a little sneak peek, working on a new studio, you probably will see a different background at some point here soon. Um, Brian and I will probably be in the same room together, which is kind of scary. So, yeah, that's uh, you know the post-COVID actual you know see a person outside of a small square box. But, exactly. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, we hopefully at some point, too, we'll have callers uh, join us, too, and, uh, you know, speak their mind and uh, join the conversation live. Yep. Very cool. Looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks, all. Have a wonderful evening. Evening, everybody.